What is the word? Unconditional. I wish you a unconditional happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> we probably all heard of what's going on in the legislature about the funding of the property that uh, Senator Negron wants to purchase uh, in the Everglades. So I wanted to tell you what's going on here. What, what's it all about? Well, in 1845, when the state of Florida became a state, at that time, they only owned what was above water. The, the federal law at that time said that any swamp water, anything that was below water belonged to the U.S. government. You all see the Everglades, starting up here in Orlando, going down to Lake Okeechobee, going the canal out to uh, Fort Myers, and another canal, the St. Lucie Canal, going to uh, Port, uh, Port St. Lucie. And then this all flows down into the, the Gulf of Mexico. Well, here's the thing. The U.S. government, they went, they were, since we were an ag agrarian economy at the time, said, well, we don't really need swamp water. We want you to develop it for crops, for agriculture. So what they did is they said that if you can reclaim the, the swamp, the, you can become part of the, the, that can become part of your state. Well, the, the governor at the time, as an incentive, of course he wants to get all of the land that he can, and as a, of course it's all going to go into agriculture, but he get, offered incentives to the people. And the, one of the incentives, I think it, they, they, they were offering it almost at about a dollar an acre. So you can imagine, you know, 60,000 acres uh, you know, back in 1850, and what it what it what, what it's worth today. Well, this act that the Millard Fillmore was the president at the time, it was the Swamp and Overflow Land Act of 1850. This is the act that ceded recovered land back to the state. Now. I'm a big real estate agent up in New York or Connecticut, Illinois. I'm looking at this is a new frontier that's opening here in Florida. Boy, the opportunities are, are uh, boundless. Can you imagine what happened? You know what? Look at what happened down Dade County. Look what happened in Palm Beach. The, the, of course, you, you remember. You've heard about the story about the people who bought the land and they come down to Florida and they found it was underwater. Well, they had to, they had to reclaim the land to, 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 that they purchased. The major effort to really take and drain the swamp it happened in I need to turn this light back on here. I can't, see, I can't read my notes. <laughs> In 1883, they built the canal from Lake Okeechobee to the Kalahoochee River to have the to drain the water out to, to Fort Myers area. And then later on, a couple of years later, they, they built another canal into the St. Lucie River and then go, to flow into the uh, St. Lucie Inlet and, of course, going out to sea. <coughs> One thing happened. They built all of these properties in Miami Beach. They built them here in, in Palm Beach. They built them all, all th through, the, through Florida. They didn't realize that we have hurricanes down here. So they, they were real, the first experience I think they had with hurricanes was, you know, back in the early 30s and 40s. 
They really, I remember the one they had down in Miami was really bad. But anyway, they, they in 1948, uh, President Truman signed the Flood Control Act of 1948, in which in the engineers were to build levees, control dams, and can, canals to regulate the flow of water so it didn't flood everybody. The only problem with that is this land now is all agriculture and what happened with the agriculture we, as we learned about the, the uh, hydro, hydrogelotic <laughs> flow of water. <laughs> I can't say it. In other words, there's shit in the water. <laughs> well, the, what, it, it contains a great deal of phosphorus. As a matter of fact, the phosphorus in that, that is in Lake Okeechobee now is about 300 parts per million. The normal in the Everglades is 13 parts per million. So if you if you this water goes into the Everglades, it's going to completely decimate the Everglades. So with the hurricanes in 19 or two, uh, 2000, uh, William Jefferson Clinton signed the Water Resource Development Act and they were charged with using the best science to clean up the Everglades and re remove 300 years of phosphorus accumulation. Now, we see what uh, Senator Negron has done. What This is all part of that Restoration Act. What he's trying to do is the settling. They, if, if, before it, it came all, all the way from uh, and, and, and went into the Gulf. However, <clears throat> under the new plan, they, they'll settle out the water in these settling plants and let it flow naturally down into the, uh, the uh, Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>